the lake bubbles and growls behind its low wall. Mark and Frank take samples of gas and lumps of cooled lava. Analysis of the radioactive isotopes of certain chemical elements will help better understand the circulation of lava in the magma chamber. This chemical signature of Nyiragongo's magma can be compared to that of other volcanoes, especially the nearby Nyamulagira, which at the moment also has a lava lake. This low wall provides an ideal opportunity to try a new challenge. Making the most of a calm spell, Marc Caillé makes a first attempt, closely watched by his teammates on the platform. It's the first time anyone has stood on the shore of the new lake. Finding himself alone on the shore of the world's largest lava lake. A wild dream has come true. Also making it to the edge of the lake, a hypnotized Olivier gets pictures of the raging flood. The power of the spectacle overwhelms him, making him lose touch with reality for a few minutes. Animated by unseen forces, its surface ripples, swells and tears, throwing out lumps of matter at a temperature over 1,200 degrees. Even in the suit, it's impossible to withstand such temperatures for more than a few minutes. The calm spell didn't last long. The level is gradually rising and the lava is starting to spill over. Il y a une brèche qui s'est faite hein, sur, votre, sur votre droite là. Donc euh, ça peut, ça peut, ça peut s'élargir.
Night is falling. The incandescent flows light up the crater.